Have you ever wondered what it's like to switch to blueprints as a Unity dev? Well, you're not alone. The debate itself has been around for ages. Unity versus Unreal, there has been so much content about it. But the biggest problem most people fear is that you switch from C Sharp to blueprints because it's so visual. Also, it's a big change in how you go into making your code which can make Unreal seem daunting at first for most Unity developers. But fear not. Obviously, C Sharp is a great language and it's very versatile in terms of what you can create because you almost have no limits except the engine itself. There is a very big difference between your code and the engine's code, which makes it just a bit better for new developers and people who are new to coding to even learn what the engine is all about. But for experienced developers, it's much more complicated since a lot of developers want to create their own things, which makes it way more complicated to tinker with the engine itself. I mean, I would definitely say you can get very far with C Sharp and create your whole game just using C Sharp without even touching the engine code. But if you need a custom solution for anything, it's going to get complicated really quick. I mean, that's the whole reason I switched over anyways, because I needed a custom good graphics solution, which I couldn't get in Unity. And then after debating for months, I decided to switch to Unreal Engine because I just couldn't get some good graphical fidelity into my Unity game without touching the engine code and breaking the engine. My initial reaction was that Unreal isn't so different from Unity layout wise, but in how it functions as a game engine. You don't have C Sharp which you attach to any game objects. You rather have a connection between game objects that you create and references instead of specific scripts on game objects. From a logical standpoint on, blueprints aren't as far away from actual coding as you might have thought. The difference is that you need to think about more of how you connect them and how you organize them instead of how you write the functions and how you optimize it. But if you hate visual scripting like I did, you probably thought of C++ because Unreal Engine's native support for C++ is just insane. I mean, you can connect visual scripting with C++, which makes it just so much more powerful than just coding in C Sharp and attaching it to game objects. Blueprints aren't everything, so at some point you probably need to switch over to C++ for a short time in order to create the functionality you want into Blueprints. That's the thing about C++. You can just create a blueprintable class or a blueprintable function and get in into your blueprints and it will work just fine. I had a huge problem at some point where I needed to sort an array of input actions which wasn't possible natively from Unreal Engine's blueprints. So I tried to switch over to C++ and there was a big problem with that. Well, that's the thing. If you use Unity, the C Sharp support is built in and you need to use it. But since Unreal doesn't see C++ as a necessity, you might need to create the C++ class itself. This doesn't sound bad at first, but let me tell you, it's been one heck of a ride. The main difference between between C Sharp and C++ is that one is a compiled language and the other one is not. It means C++ needs to be compiled by you, the developer. This means you have a lot more trouble trying to get it to run than with C Sharp in my opinion. The start was very difficult even though I've got help from other developers in the Unreal Engine Discord and that they showed me some docs I could use to get started. It was really complicated to get it to run even with Visual Studio. Normally you would use something like Rider or Visual Studio with Rider being the main component that everybody uses in terms of Unreal Engine C++ compatibility. So it honestly took me a couple hours to get started with using Unreal Engine C++ with Visual Studio. But in the end it was pretty easy to get started and implement it into the blueprint system that Unreal has. The only problem I had was that the errors weren't as clear as in Unity. For example, modules needed to be referenced in the build 
index.cs file, which in turn was something I wasn't used to in the Unity engine and caused me some trouble when getting started. I will also be linking some docs in the description of this video so you can get started with Unreal a lot faster. I would definitely say that the key difference is how you get into learning the specific language or the specific engine. I can recommend that you look into what your personal style of learning is instead of going with everyone else's opinion with Unity being easier to learn and Unreal better for more experienced developers since it really all comes down to the element of of how visually you want to learn. If you are a fully visual learner, I would definitely say go with Blueprints because it's easier to get into and it has a lot of variety in it, even though it's not fully complete with, for example, sorting algorithms missing. But if you are more experienced, I would definitely say mix around with it and use Blueprints and C++ because you can also switch between them a lot, giving you more variety and how you create your game, which in turn makes it a bit less boring and redundant if you are used to using Blueprints or C Sharp all the time. I would say this is it for this devlog. Don't forget to wishlist my game on Steam and join our Discord in the description. Have a nice day and see you in the next episode.